Hi, I'm Murray Campbell. I'm a distinguished research scientist here at IBM Research, and I'm here with Francesca Rossi, who's a, an IBM fellow, also here at IBM Research. Today, we're going to talk about Francesca's time as AAAI president. What were the biggest surprises for you along the way as president? Thanks, Mari. Nice to chat with you today. So uh, I've been a president of AAAI for two and a half years. That's the, my term. And it seems like a short time. But actually, as everybody knows, AI's capabilities have significantly evolved and advanced during these two and a half years. And as well as the AI research environment, the methodologies used, the focus, the topics, uh, many things have changed, significant transformations. So, for example, the much more influence of needing for resources and hardware in everything we do in AI research, the focus on uh, AI evaluation, benchmark and testing rather than designing systems with certain properties, the focus on large language models, of course, and their evolution, much more multidisciplinary research, working with people that are not AI researchers, but are needed to understand the impact of AI onto the technology. And so many significant transformation in the environment. For example, even many more people like us that are not, are not doing research in an academic environment, but actually working in a corporate environment uh, in AI. So uh, really a lot, and the topics uh, have been evolving, but uh, there are several topics that not now I think that are becoming clear that are very, very central. One of them is, of course, AI ethics, which is also something that I'm very, uh, you know, care about a lot, that is becoming from very high level discussion to very concrete things into actually research papers and research work tools and so on. Uh, another one is, of course, the autonomy that we may want to give and the ag agency that we want to give to AI systems, so the agentic AI uh, area. Uh, but something that I think is very central is the area of AI, so-called reasoning. So the debate whether AI, current AI, can or cannot reason, what it means and why that is important. So that's really a central uh, uh, focus of discussion and research work in AI, and therefore also at AAAI. Now, haven't AI systems been reasoning ever since the earliest days of the field? What's different now? What makes it feel different? Yeah, you're right that uh, even at the beginning, since uh, 1956, you know, when the uh, field started and this term was used for the first time, in the first decades, yes, AI was reasoning, was reasoning, you know, we had planners, we have schedulers, we have constraint solvers. These are all search, uh, you know, algorithms. These are all reasoning capabilities that were already there in AI and were um, pre-programmed reasoning capabilities that uh, researchers had figured out some reasoning methodologies, and then they code, were coding these reasoning methodologies into an AI system. That has the advantage of being always correct. You know the properties, you know that they are accurate, you know they're correct. But of course, as the disadvantage that some, uh, some of these reasoning capabilities cannot be applied, they are very rigid, cannot be applied to anything that happens that is a bit messy in real life. And also they are not reasoning capabilities that are emerging, but again, they are pre-programmed. Now the reasoning capabilities uh, which we may debate whether they are really doing reasoning or something else, but they are emerging from systems that are built from da with data-driven approaches. And from these approaches, you see that some kind of reasoning capabilities are emerging with different pros and cons compared to the previous ones, which means that uh, so you can have reasoning capability even when you don't pre-program them, and this is a big advantage. But of course, you have less uh, certain about the accuracy and the reliability. So why is it that there's so much attention now? What are the benefits that people expect to get from having additional reasoning capabilities? I think you've mentioned a couple, but uh, if you could go on a little more on that. Sure. So um, again, People feel that the previous uh, pre-programmed, let's say, reasoning capabilities were really too rigid and could not be applied to real life messiness. So 
people welcome these new reasoning capabilities that are emerging. But of course, uh, um, and, and if we had real reasoning capabilities with the same accuracy of the pre-programmed one, that would be ideal because you could have reliable systems that can reason in a similar way as a human being, even better because of the additional capabilities of handling data, memory, and so on that AI systems have compared to human beings. And that would allow to have more reliable systems that can be used also with uh, uh, some trust uh, in high stake decision scenarios and that can also linking again to the agentic AI field that can also be trusted to give some agency and to delegate some in, with autonomy uh, to make some decision without human intervention. If we don't have that reliability then it will be difficult to or at least it will be very confined to some scenarios, but it, it will be difficult to, in general, give agency to the systems. So reasoning, the goal of reasoning is always to allow system also to reason, as we say, which means also to have introspections, to be able to understand the by themselves their own confidence on their outputs, but also to be able to have systems that can, going back to AI ethics, that can uh, be more aware of the uh, ethics guidelines, uh, policies, or safety uh, guardrails that you want to put on an AI system with some certainty that they will follow them. Well, as you know, certain fields really demand accuracy. They demand correct answers. Is the reasoning capability that we see in emerging in current systems, is that ready yet for prime time, is there, or is there more to do? I think there is uh, still a lot of work to do. And that's why we see in the AI research environment so many researchers that are working to understand uh, how to, uh, in many directions, how to improve these reasoning capabilities. So whether to take uh, uh, current uh, large language models and add reasoning capabilities with some uh, uh, feedback loop, chain of thought, and other kind of uh, methodologies, or whether to use a completely different approach from, uh, from current LLMs and combine LLMs with other components that are more symbolic, like the kind of pre-programmed reasoning that we mentioned before, so that uh, these pieces together uh, with some metacognitive component that can decide how to combine them, how to use one, when to use one component, when to use another one, depending on the decision scenario. So there are th many different directions that people are using to improve the reasoning capability because definitely that is something that needs to be advanced to uh, have reliable AI systems. But you also work in some direction in improving reasoning capabilities. Yeah, I think one of the key factors in reasoning is just telling whether or not our systems are reasoning reliably, actually evaluating their capabilities. And that's a big unsolved problem as of yet, as you know. So as you wrap up your presidency at AAAI, what are the things that most excite you about the field of AI going forward? Well, the f but the future of AI, I think that uh, again, uh, um, there are a lot of uh, very promising direction. And when I say promising, I, I mean advancing AI capabilities, not just advancing any capabilities in isolation and in different dimensions, but really making sure that we can use AI uh, to support our own intelligence, our own decision-making capabilities. And in order to do that in a human AI collaborative environment, again, reasoning is very central because it will bring real reasoning you know it will bring reliability it will bring safety ethics value alignment and that are very central very important to be able to trust these ai systems so that they can help us thank you thank you Marie.